bottle aging or bulk aging? Let's find out which one's better. Today, we're gonna to be finding out the difference between bulk aging and bottle aging. Now, what I have here is the exact same mead, but in two different forms, so to speak. This is a bottle aged version that has been aged for a year and two months in this bottle. And I have a couple more bottles of it that I'll be using possibly in the future. And I have the same recipe and everything in bulk. So uh, I wanna see what the taste difference is between the two. It's pretty simple. Um, both are the exact same age. They have the exact same ingredients or the same ABV, yada, yada, all that. The only difference is this was aged in this little bottle portion. And then of course that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and open these. Um, and of course, I plan on doing this later on. I don't know how long I'll keep this in this bulk container. I've purposefully kept this out so that I could do this test, but eventually I wanna bottle this. So let me pour these. Okay, so I have my two samples here. This is the bulk aged version. This is the bottle aged. I will throw the recipe up on the screen right here so you can see it. Um, this was a really interesting mead, and I'm, I'm curious to see how some of these flavors meld, but I'm more specifically curious to see if there's this difference between our bulk and bottle. So I'm gonna start actually with the bulk version. So this is the bulk version. I'm gonna, well, hear about this. I'm gonna go for a nose test first. Interesting, okay, so I really had to go back and forth between those because this bulk age version to me has a little brighter smell than the bottle aged. The bottle aged feels a little more muted. Um, it doesn't have as much uh, fruity aroma. It doesn't have as much honey aroma. Oh, well, I guess it has honey aroma, but it doesn't have the sweet side of the honey aroma as much as this side. So this is the, the bulk aged, of course. That's really interesting to me. Very, very, very muted. The characters are definitely different on the nose. Huh, I didn't expect that. Um, let me, let's taste test it. This is, this means gotten way better with time. I mean, it's been sitting like this for a year and two months. So, um, it's got some like, uh, cinnamony, mm, clovey kind of taste to it, which is interesting because I didn't put those in there. It has the pear, of course, the fenugreek, which is something that I hadn't used before, but it has caramely notes. A lot of times people use it to, uh, get a maple syrup taste into their mead or their brew. So, there's definitely some, some bright notes in there of fruit. Um, that the uh, maple side really pops quite a bit. So let me cleanse my palate real fast so I have a even playing field. Okay, so now let's taste test the uh, bottle version. Wow, that is a very different flavor. So this is way more muted. Like I said on the nose, it has the uh, aroma of it. You could still get the hints of the fruit and hints of the honey and all those things, but it wasn't so in your face. In my opinion, this one is almost mellowed and melded together better. That's super interesting. This one, the, the flavors have really, they've kind of interleaved themselves in a different way than the bulk aged version. So you still get all the notes of the caramel, not caramel, excuse me, maple and um, maybe a little caramel, kind of get that maple caramel side. Uh, you still have some of the, the cinnamony clove aspect. Don't really get any cilantro, but I'm not really surprised by that. Um, get the fruitiness of the pear. But the big difference I note is that the bulk age here is a little brighter tasting, and it's still melded together well. But the bottle aged is, um, is more mellowed. Yeah, that's, that's very, very, very interesting to me because this is more juice-esque. Um, it's very smooth. I mean, both are very smooth. The sweetness of it helps because this meat's not necessarily dry. And um, that's very wild to me. One of my mm, ideas of why they could be different, when you age in the bulk, you're aging everything all together. Now, that really, I should say this, the only difference between these should be that one was in a bottle, one was in the bulk. However, 
Whenever you bottle something, generally you try not to get much sediment into it, if any sediment at all. So my hypothesis is because this does have a little bit of sediment at the bottom, there is a good chance that that sediment has still imparted some flavor over time, especially over a year and two months, into this one gallon you know, bulk version where this bottle did not have that sediment and so the flavors did not develop in that way. So that is kind of my idea with, with this situation. Um, I don't know if I could definitively say, truthfully, um, that one is better than the other, that bulk aging is better than bottle aging. Um, I know that there are pros and cons and I have a whole video about that. I'm not gonna talk about that here. If you're gonna talk about that, I've explained the difference between bulk and bottle aging. For this test alone, I do wanna say that um, it makes a big difference if your bulk version is, is aging on lees or something that might affect the flavor. But there is definitely a drastic difference between these two, even though they're the same recipe. Time has definitely proven a couple things. That in this case, the brighter side of this pear, of the um, really the maple syrupy flavor, and, and honestly the cinnamony clove, uh, spices side is popping more with this than it is with the bottled version. This is more mellow. You still get the flavors, but they're not as bright. So this is, um, this is darker. This is a lighter taste. Both are very, very good. What I would recommend to you, if you're watching this video going, should I be bulk aging? Should I be bottle aging? I would take it by your availability of equipment. So for me, I have just so happened to be able to sacrifice this one gallon glass carboy for, you know, the year, basically. And if you're able to do that and still continue to ferment and brew and everything, then maybe bulk age some stuff. Now, it's harder to do that if you have like one five gallon glass fermenter. It's hard to let that fermenter stay full for a year with the same thing in it if you need to use it for something else. So in that case, I would recommend maybe bottle aging. That might help you out there. That's kind of what I do um, because I rotate things out so often. But this is really interesting. I would love to know in the comments, have you done a test like this? Have you tasted the difference between your bulk aged mead and maybe your bottle aged mead? Um, when I bottled this to the 12 bottles I got out of the other half of this, uh, I knew I was gonna do a test like this in the future. So this was very interesting. I've learned a lot. Hope you have two. Um, I still have two bottles of this. So what I'm gonna do, because I can still at this point sacrifice this bottle for a while longer, um, I am going to be putting this guy back into you know, my storage back up above. And if I can do it for another year, let it sit for another year, I will. And we'll taste test it after it's been sitting for two years and we'll find out if the bottle bulk has changed even more. But this is my version one of this. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, I've learned a lot from this experiment alone, and maybe it's not concrete because it could be different from mead to mead. Uh, however, for this specific experiment, I would say that I have, I have discovered that bottle aging um, does a different, or melds flavors in a different way than bulk aging. So, I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know what you think down below. I will see you guys in another video, of course. And with that, Cheers.